All right, first trip of the day. Little green anole. He's brown right now. Let's see if we can get him. He's right here. There we go. Come here, buddy. There we go. Little green anole. Brown right now. Trying to get warm. Trying to look tough. What's up, buddy? You're so tough. You're so tough. There you go. Look at you. Cool little dude. Green anole. February. Warm day. And this guy's out doing uh, lizard stuff. So let him kind of run along, but just wanted to make sure we got a good shot of the first, first harp of the day on this warm winter day. Green and knoll, except he's brown. Will we get lucky today? Who knows? Let's see what's out. First decent looking piece of tin. Let's see if there's anything under it. Ants, lots of ants. All right, it took me a second to notice, but for a snake, there's actually two of them. A couple of these um, little decay snakes. Decay's browns, I believe. Yep, just a couple of them. Let them go back under these leaves. Very, very small. So these probably hatched out last year. Let them go back under the ground, but a couple snakes. See you guys. Set this down gently. All right, over here next to where those snakes were. Let's see. Anything under this one? Don't see anything. Okay, we'll turn around. So the two decays were there. We'll try this one. Really hard to see them against these leaves. It takes uh, a bit of scanning after you flip these, but I don't think there's anything on this one. Usually this time of year, the first reptiles you're gonna find are those little fossorial snakes and lizards. You know, your ground skinks, your green anoles, fence lizards, decays browns, red bellies, ring neck snakes. Those are usually what you're gonna find first. Um, and then as it gets warmer, as we get more into the actual spring season you'll start to see the larger reptiles you know the bigger snakes and stuff start to come out uh, right now i'm looking for snakes lizards salamanders because the water's so turbid from recent rain not really likely to see any turtles at all so we're going to see what else we can get So I did get lucky and see a turtle basking on this log. Just jumped in. Let's see if we can uh, maybe be around when it comes back up for air. It's, uh, it looked like a yellow-bellied slider. We'll see if it comes back up. My guess is it'll be somewhere in this area. These guys tend to kind of stick to their basking log, especially this time of year. I doubt he's gonna go all the way downstream see it yet. All right, so under this log was no real herps, but there are a bunch of these uh, millipedes. Those are actually pretty cool. These guys can actually get pretty long. Um, I've seen some pretty good size ones. That one right there, probably the biggest of this group under this log, but you know, pretty cool to see, you know, some different stuff. Um, and with the warmer temperatures, everything's kind of coming back up to the surface instead of being down those holes. So sometimes this is just how herping goes, you know, especially in February, you can spend hours and hours and miles, you know, trying to find something. And despite your best efforts, you don't really come up with much. Uh, but that's what makes it fun. I think, you know, all the successes only come through hard work and through, you know, all your failings, really. I mean, you're not gonna get better at it or find anything without kind of swinging and missing a lot. 
If it was easy, who would want to do it, you know? I got my pants and jump in, but I got like a last minute video save. This is the first wild turtle in hand of 2021. Um, and it's a common one. In fact, it is the common musk turtle, Sternothrus odoratus, also known as a stink pot. And uh, I kind of had a feeling when I was driving, kind of heading back home, that I knew this little kind of shallow offshoot of this larger lake is really good. This area is really good for little mud turtles and uh, common musk turtles. And with temperatures being in the 50s and 60s today and it not being cold last night, I had a feeling these guys would be running around. And this is a uh, adult female. You can tell by the small tail right there that this is a female. You can also tell this is not a mud turtle by the fact that it has a small plastron. And uh, yeah, she's gonna get feisty, but nice, nice turtle. I'm really stoked to have finally caught the first turtle of 2021. I was a little worried I wouldn't get anything good for this video and last minute I just had the right feeling and then I really didn't care about getting these vans muddy and so I jumped in and grabbed this turtle so really stoked on that. She's actually got some nice colors. She's got some like kind of like orange tones to her striping which is really really awesome and you don't see that very often so uh, pretty stoked on that. Female common musk turtle aka stink pot. So far I don't smell her, but I'm sure she stinks. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed a few phone photos. Uh, we're gonna let this girl go right back to where she was. Walk her back over to this little mucky area. And there you go. See you later, friend. Scoot, scoot. Nice, really stoked. Now to figure out something about these shoes. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been fun to shoot this and kind of go on the first big uh, warm weather snap herping hunt of 2021. I'm headed to Florida tomorrow on Saturday and hopefully gonna come back with some neat stuff for you guys. Appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned every Friday, more herping adventures, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.